you know, all mothers have their own way and own approach in dealing with their baby. So it's hard to say what's right and what's wrong. But there are certain things that are not really good for the baby. So make no mistake because in this video I'm bringing for you some first-hand mommy tips so that you make no mistakes in taking care of your baby. Stay tuned. Hey there everybody, Assalamu Alaikum, Hana here and welcome to my channel Hana Logs. This is a place where you will find videos relating to motherhood issues and some general things and ideas that help me to simplify your life. Welcome, welcome. So following are the things that you can avoid in order to take better care of your baby. Let's just cut straight to the chase. My tip number one is don't blow in your baby's ears. It's like the most common practice that we see in our daisy lands. Yes, but do not, right? Because it can cause ear infection. Plus, you know, it can even cause damage if you blow too hard. So if you have noticed some water entering your baby's ears, uh, you know, while giving them a bath, then check which side it is and lay the baby on that side and turn their heads towards uh, that side. The water will just trickle out. So there you have it. No need to blow. My tip number two is do not make your baby sleep on the same side every time at least for the first initial months you know we tend to forget that this can lead to flathead syndrome that is a flat uh, back of the head or flat uh, side spot wherever your baby is turning frequently you want to keep changing those sides and you can also use those cute rounded baby pillows my tip number three is do not shake the baby's head while playing so don't get carried away babies are only fragile and they have to be handled with utmost care sometimes we tend to get really excited and you know we can shake the baby a little but that is not good i mean recently there was a video that went viral about a father who was shaking his baby's head too much and it kind of caused a lot of damage so yeah you want to avoid doing that at all costs i mean you can shake your head as much as you want in front of the baby to make the baby happy <laughs> But not so much the babies. My tip number four is really important for the current times and that is please avoid taking your babies to crowded places. Yes, at least for the first initial um, a month or the first few weeks of their birth because they are really susceptible to catching infection faster than us. I actually say this because I was kind of shocked when I saw some you know parents bringing their you know month old babies to supermarkets uh, even during this pandemic for grocery shopping. I don't know. I just wondered if they could have done this differently. I don't know. It's just best to avoid crowded places for babies. My tip number five is do not leave the area around the baby's neck unchecked for long. You know, babies keep spilling a lot of milk and you don't want your babies to smell like that. So it's best to, you know, have this area checked every time and clean it with a wet, warm cloth and have them smelling nice all the time. Okay, so if at any point you found any of my tip really helpful up till this point, then please hit the pause button and hit like. It really encourages me to keep going. Also comment if you have some interesting don'ts that you want to share. We all want to learn more. My tip number six is do not leave your baby unattended at any time. Yes, those little creatures are really helpless. They need us for everything. They can't even blow their noses on their own. Poor babies. Also, don't leave them unfed for too long. Uh, I say this because, you know, all babies have different feeding patterns. And, you know, initially when we are new mothers, we don't know anything. And I was pretty naive. I let my two-month-old get a nice long stretch of sleep for about five hours straight without disturbing him to feed. I didn't know otherwise. In my defense, he was sleeping comfortably, so I let him. Uh, but yeah, he woke up with the loudest cry and ever since I found out that you have to feed them every two to three hours even if they're sleeping. Yeah, so consult your pediatrician about the frequency of feeds, especially for the first month and then eventually you will know your baby's feeding pattern and you'll be a pro. I've made a video on newborn baby care tips, the do's, the things that you are supposed to do for taking good care of your baby. The link is right here. My next tip is try not to change the recommended doses that are given on the formula milk containers. I've kind of done research about it and it says if you give more than recommended scoops, it can lead to constipation and if you're giving less means less than optimum nutrition. So yeah, try to read the instructions well and follow exactly the same. I've also seen someone on YouTube say one ounce means one scoop. Uh-uh, that's not the case. It can be true for most brands but there are some that don't have the same kind of dose. So yeah, please do read first and be well informed about this. My tip number eight is a kind of funny one and it's kind of understandable. That is, do not, no matter how much you want it, do not kiss your baby with lipstick on or any kind of makeup on your face. Baby skin is really gentle. You don't want to irritate it. It can lead to sometimes eczema as well, irritation. Also be watchful of the visitors who, you know, have lots of lipstick on. Uh-uh, not allowed, not allowed. Be firm and be assertive. No kisses allowed. During this pandemic, I think no kisses allowed altogether. Nobody else. Only the mommy and the daddy can too. Yeah. 
My tip number nine is something I've already mentioned, but it is important to assert it again. Please don't leave the diapers of the baby unchecked. There are two reasons for it mainly. You know, you don't want the baby to poo and be there with it for a long time. It gets really difficult to clean that ish uh, later and it can cause terrible rash. So yeah, that is one reason. The other reason is when the baby is newborn, the number of wet diapers, uh, you know, are clear indicators that they're being well fed. So five to six wet diapers, they say are good. My final and 10th tip is no gadgets to babies. No, no gadgets. It pains me to see that the babies who are barely even able to hold the phones in their hands are being given phones. The radiation is so bad for us, let alone for them. They are only little and the ways in which you can distract them are only a Google away. So find out more ways and try as much as you can to distract them instead of giving the phone in their hand. I'm telling you, whatever you do, it's gonna be worth it because it's about the well-being of your baby. So keep trying, keep trying. So yes, this brings me to the end of don't do this, don't do that, spree. I hope you found these uh, tips really helpful. You know, you're the mother, you know best what's best for your baby. But these were just a few guidelines that I felt along the way were necessary to share. So don't worry, mommies. Motherhood, they say, is just like art. Art, hey, art. It can be perfected with time. So just keep calm and stay relaxed. You will get there. Thanks a bunch for taking out time to watch my video. Please do share this video with someone who has just become a new mother or a new parent. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until we meet again, I hope you stay safe.